Smash has had clones for as long as it's existed. In the first Smash game on the Nintendo 64, Luigi, although being a separate character, was a clone of Mario. The reason Nintendo did this is so that they could have more characters with minimal effort. Nowadays, Mario and Luigi are completely different characters with very little in common. However, clones still exist in the form of Ultimate's new Echo Fighters. Seven characters in Ultimate are considered Echo Fighters, those being Richter echoing Simon, Dark Pit echoing Pit, Dark Samus echoing Samus, Daisy echoing Peach, Ken echoing Ryu, Lucina echoing Marth, and Krom echoing Koi. So, today I thought we could look back on these Echo Fighters, rank them best to worst, and in the process analyze what makes a good Echo Fighter. So, I'll be answering the question, how do you make the best Smash Fighter with the least amount of effort? Let's get into it. We're starting with the best, which is obviously Ken and Ryu. This is honestly a bit unfair, because I don't even think they should be considered Echo Fighters. I feel like they just are because of their history together. In reality, they have a ton of differing moves between each other. I consider an Echo Fighter being good if they are different enough, play differently from one another, and if it feels like you're playing that character despite their moveset being based on another. Ken obviously fits all of these, to the point where he doesn't feel like he should even be here. But if we're treating Ken like he's a proper Echo Fighter, he's of course the best. Krom is the ideal Echo Fighter, and what I think they all should be. Krom was a character that was wanted in Smash for a while, and it felt like we wouldn't get him since there were already six Fire Emblem characters in the game. Instead of making him a whole new character, they made him an Echo Fighter of Roy. The differences between them in terms of moves are that Krom has uniform damage output on his sword rather than Roy's sweet spot and the hilt of his sword. He also has an uppie similar to Ike's. In terms of visuals, they removed Roy's noticeable backwards grip and his flame effects. There are very many minor changes that I won't be talking about because they don't affect gameplay too much, like certain attacks having more distance or are slightly slower, but I think I've mentioned all the important stuff. He has all the normal Echo Fighter stuff, like new victory screens, taunts, voice acting, mild animation changes. Overall, I think Krom is the best Echo Fighter in this game. Well, at least the best that I truly consider to be an Echo Fighter. His fighter makes sense because he has Roy's similar rushdown and no hesitation style, and he has the same sword as Lucina, being her father, so he has her same uniform damage. Finally, you can absolutely prefer one over the other. They are truly different characters and both have their pros and cons. Overall, I think that Krom is the best Echo Fighter that I truly consider to be an Echo Fighter. Lucina is very similar to Krom, the only difference being that this is her second game. She shares a similarity of having a uniform damage sword, while Marth, the character she's based on, has a tipper on his sword, leading to a harder combo game but more damage if you can space properly. Lucina is generally considered better than Marth, as she's much easier to get combos and can generally be more freeform with how she attacks. Similar to Krom, Lucina has a lot more mild hitbox differences that are so mild that I won't even be talking about them. Besides that, Lucina has all the other stuff that Krom has, such as new taunts, victory screens, voice work, and new models. Going through our criteria again, I think Lucina is different enough from Marth to feel like they could be placed on different spots in the tier list. It makes sense that Lucina is an Echo Fighter of Marth's, as she spends most of her game pretending to be Marth. Finally, Lucina has the same sword and blade as Krom, so it makes sense that she has the same uniform damage. I think that Lucina and Krom are the ideal Echo Fighters, but it's really only going to go downhill from here. Dark Pit was a very natural pick for an Echo Fighter. I think more so than the Fire Emblem characters. I mean, he's literally named Dark Pit. Because of how similar their designs are, most of their animations are nearly exactly the same. The difference comes more from their movesets, specifically with their bows. Dark Pit's Silver Bow does more damage and knockback, but has significantly less mobility than Pit's. The only other big moveset change is Dark Pit's Side B sending sideways instead of Pit's, which sends upwards. I think that these moveset changes are absolutely enough to prefer one over the other. I certainly prefer Dark Pit. It makes sense in the context of this series, as Dark Pit is very similar to Pit, and I think with things like a different Final Smash, he represents the Dark Pit from Kid Icarus well enough. I don't get you. Dark Samus is an Echo Fighter for Samus, the first of which we're covering that doesn't really have any moves that changes from their base fighter. With almost all Echoes, there is of course some difference, mild changes to their shield, roll, charge shot, but overall, they're basically the same fighter. What's odd to me is how many new animations Dark Samus has. 
It's more than all the other Echoes, to the point where I'm wondering why they didn't differ their moves that more, or just make them a completely new character. Animation is one of the things that takes the longest in Smash, and just in general, so it's odd to me that so much time was dedicated to the animations, but they didn't get a different moveset. These next two spots are interchangeable, as they both have the same problem. That problem being that the Echoes are the exact same as the Source character. Simon and Richter are the exact same. Well, not the exact same. Richter's down B emits an aura effect, rather than Simon's flame effect. This means that Olimar's red Pikmin will be hurt by Richter, but not Simon, and that Link's bombs will activate on Simon's, but not Richter's. These two characters are interchangeable. They're the exact same, which is exactly what I think Echo Fighters shouldn't be. Echoes should have one or two different moves, and perhaps some gameplay differences, like we see with Chrom or Lucina. I think that there should have been more differences between them, like buffing certain moves and nerfing others. Even just that would have been enough. It makes sense that Richter is an Echo for Simon, as they're both the protagonists of Castlevania just in different games, but I think that the difference should have come in with what moves they actually use in those Castlevania games, as explored by Mockrock in his video about Echo Fighters. Overall, when Simon and Richter got revealed, I was super excited, because I was expecting more gameplay differences, but unfortunately, those differences just weren't there in the final product. Daisy was the first Echo Fighter we saw, and is, ironically, the worst. To start, let's go over the differences between Peach and Daisy. Daisy is a slightly different hitbox, being shorter, but wider compared to Peach's. That's it. Yeah, that's really it. At the beginning of Ultimate's release, it was discovered that Daisy's turnips had slightly different knockback and damage, which is not a major change, but it definitely changes their combo games. The issue was, it turned out that those were just Peach's Smash 4 turnips, and so it was patched out which is exactly what Nintendo shouldn't have done. We need more differences between Daisy and Peach, even if, like I said for Simon and Richter, it's just buffing different moves and nerfing others. Once again, as explored by Mockrock, perhaps Daisy could have had a shorter float, but could have dealt more damage. That would make more sense because of her presence in the Mario sports games. But no matter how much I can complain, I can't say that it makes sense for them to be Echo Fighters. I mean, Daisy is literally just Peach, but for a different kingdom. I'm just a bit sad that there was no differences between them. Now, before I close this video out, I just want to say that I know Echo Fighters are a good thing in Smash, and I honestly like that they're in the game. Even though characters like Simon and Richter and Peach and Daisy are the exact same, I would rather have them than not have them. I think what some people need to realize is, it wasn't Richter or Sora, it was Richter or no Richter. Echo Fighters are supposed to take less development time, they're just supposed to be tagged on as, you know, little extra fan service. So when people say they would prefer to not have the Echo Fighters in the game, I don't think that makes any sense. I mean, I definitely prefer them there, I think they add something to the game, I would just prefer if some of them were handled a bit differently. So, that was my list, and like I said in my Smash DLC video, don't leave yours in the comments, I don't care.